Hello, and we're back with the translation of the Ritzina Rebbe's uh, introduction to Chesidut and Kabbalah, which he wrote over 100 years ago in Poland, which Shlomo Karlba called the best introduction to Chesidus and Kabbalah. Last session, we, in the previous video, we discussed about how if for the person who believes in the Torah, he, can't, he doesn't only need to believe in the oral law that explains the Torah, often making it able to follow it all. Often it's easier to follow it from the oral law than the uh, written law. It all comes from Mount Sinai. It's all for the Jewish people, and parts of it are for the whole world. It's the source of ethical living in the world. And we all are, have great respect for it. But you can't understand a commandment unless you know who's commanded. And it said that, just to review quickly the verses in the 32nd chapter of the book of Devarim, Deuteronomy. And he said to them, Take to your hearts all that I testify you today, that you shall command your children to guard all the words of this Torah in order to do them. For it is not an empty thing for you, for it is your life. And so we need to do the Torah, not just talk about it or read it. It's, uh, we need to do it in action, speech, and thought, and in the heart, which is prayer. And King Solomon, the last words he heard from his father, King David, is, Know the God of your father and serve him with a whole heart and a willing soul, for all hearts seek Hashem all inclinations of thought understand the principle that if you seek the Shabbat. So you can't do a mitzvah, a commandment from heaven, from, from God, unless you know who is commanded. That is the point of yourself. Let's continue reading. We find in the Midrash Sochar Tov, one of the Hermeneutic that collection of hermeneutic legends on the book of Psalms. How may a young man make his path pure in serving according to your word, God? That's in the 119th chapter of Tilly. Shlomo said, Know him in all your ways. If you know Hashem and are conscious of Hashem in all that you do, then Hashem will straighten the path before you. In this manner it is said in the 16th chapter of Tehillim, in the book of Psalms, Make the path of life known to me. Moshe said to Hashem in the book of Shemot, Exodus 33, And now if I have found favor in your sight, let me know your path. And in Tehillim it says, Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are Hashem of my salvation. It also says in Tehillim, God, teach me your way. Let me know. We need God to instruct us the way. And it says in the book of Yermia, Stand on the road and see and ask about the ways of the world. See which is the good way. Then walk in it and find rest for your neshama, for your soul. Look at the path that Avraham took and look at the path that Nimrod took. And look which path succeeded. King David said to his son, You, my dear son Shlomo, know the God of your fathers and serve him. We turn to the Zohar, which says, Everyone who goes into the next world without knowledge, knowing the Torah, even though he has many good actions to his credit, will be thrown out to each and every gate. The Zohar also says, everybody in this world who does not strive to know God, it would have been better if that person were never created. For this reason, make yourself seen before the Holy King in order to know Him in this world. Strive to serve him in the secret of faith. It is written in the book of Tvarim, chapter 4, 
you have been shown in order to know that Hashem is Elohim, that the Lord is your God, that there is none besides Him. God brought man into this world precisely in order to know that Hashem is Elohim, that the Lord is God. This is the principle of every secret of faith in the entire Torah. We'll conclude this brief session by explaining the, the basic principle of what it means that the whole principle of the Torah is to know that Hashem is Elohim. <coughs> Hashem is the tetragrammaton, the four-letter name of God. This represents God's mercy. In Elohim, this name means judge. Now, judgment can be justice, a good thing, when we see justice. Or it could also be judgment, which we perceive as difficult, that we need sweetening. Judge in the, it has a double meaning. It means a judge. Uh, sorry, uh, Elohim has a double meaning. Elohim means a judge in this world. It could also mean a, an angel. Bene Elohim, as in that usage. And it could also mean God, the one and only God, who created all. So when we have difficult judgments, it's all coming from God. In other religions, whose name shall not be mentioned at this time, they believe that be a religious person, that it's that God is only goodness. A religious person is only good, only doing good. And God is only good. But not evil. Evil is something else. Evil is the devil, Satan. And it's a separate thing. That's tantamount to believing in two forces. In uh, other other spiritual people of other faiths believe that one has to suffer in order to be close to God. One has to eschew pleasure. One has to wear fast and and not enjoy from this world in order to be close to God. That God is only spirituality, not physical. That God is not physical. That God cannot be experienced in the physical. Our life. And these are both not a Jewish idea. God is all goodness, but it's in a hidden way because there is pain in life, there is suffering in life. And, it, and when we say, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Lehenu Adonai Echad, Hero Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, we mean that the God of judgment, Elohim, our God, who judges us and may judge us in difficult ways, is the same God as the God of mercy. It's all one. In other words, everything comes from God. And we appreciate the good, and we suffer the evil, and or the judgments. And but we, with, if the secret of faith, that the Zohar says that the secret of faith is knowing Hashem Elohim, that God is Elohim. That secret of faith is knowing that it's really all good. We just don't see when it's difficult. We just don't see how we believe. And when the time comes. In that wonderful day when we'll all be together and we'll all look back and we'll see all the difficulty we went through was actually God leading us and improving us and helping us. And this is true faith. This is the mystery of faith, as described in the Zohar, which is really just explaining the Torah. <coughs>